and welcome to the Hurricane Book Club 2019. Uh, the final book I have chosen uh, for you all is The Doll Factory by Elizabeth McNeil. This is a debut novel. So The Doll Factory is set in 1850 in London and it follows really two separate people. The first one is uh, Iris. She is a young woman who works in a doll maker's shop and she dreams of being an artist. And the second uh, main character is a man called Silas. He is a collector, he has a little curiosity shop, a man enchanted by the strange and the beautiful. And early on in the book, uh, in the crowds outside um, the, the building site of the Great Exhibition which is being erected in Hyde Park, these two people meet. For Iris, it's the encounter of a moment, forgotten seconds later, but for Silas, that meeting marks a new beginning. And then Iris is approached by a pre-Raphaelite artist by the name of Louis Frost um, and he asks if she will sit for him, if she will model for him, and she agrees on the condition that he will also teach her to paint. And suddenly her world begins to expand to become this place of art and opportunity and love somewhere much bigger than the world that she occupied before. But since that meeting, Silas has not forgotten Iris and his obsession is darkening. This is one of the most heart-stopping novels I have ever read. Um, and it's a novel of myriad themes. It's about art and self-expression. It's about love and friendship and sisterhood. Iris is a twin and it's really interesting to see how those two women interact with each other, how they both adore each other and feel terrible jealousy. It's also about the balance of power between men and women and the sort of dark obsession that sees passivity as a mark of female beauty um, and it's a, and it, that, that also denies personhood. It may be set in the 19th century, but I really think The Doll Factory is a modern novel, a feminist one really. It's a story about female empowerment in a world that demanded that women be delicate, demure, almost collectible and certainly possessable. The other thing that you have to talk about when you talk about The Doll Factory is how beautifully written and vividly realised is um, Elizabeth McNeil is actually a potter and you really understand from her writing that she is an artist. She's so clearly, the place she, she writes about is so clearly the product of an imagination that understands texture and colour. Um, I love a book that when you open it it feels like you're just stepping across the threshold into another time and that's exactly what happens when you read The Doll Factory. It just drops you into this press and panic and elation and vivid beauty of, of 1850s London in, its all, in all its glory and, and filth. And in Iris we have this extraordinary, powerful heroine who's just determined to push up against the world she, that she finds herself in. So this book is for anyone who loved uh, Sarah Perry's The Essex Serpent, The Miniaturist by Jessie Burton. It's for fans of Sarah Waters and Michelle Faber and it's absolutely brilliant.